Go ahead. I uh, have control. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about digital commerce. Uh, basically what digital commerce is, is uh, electronic buying and selling of goods. So basically buying and selling stuff online or through any sort of electronic uh, media. So, uh, digital commerce also uh, can incorporate the entire process of developing, marketing, servicing, selling, and ultimately paying for products. Um, and then, yeah, the two, two big examples that I came up with um, as far as uh, who does who does digital commerce? Um, two biggest ones that were eBay and Amazon. Um, just big names. Everybody does it. Like Nike will do it. Any, anybody who sells anything, really these days, uh, aside from some like local, um, I guess local businesses uh, will do it. Even, even then, some local businesses do it. Um, the positives of digital commerce. Um, first of all, it just makes life easier. Like. It's kind of a, um, I don't know, you, you want something, you can get it, just more convenient. Um, it also makes it easier for individuals with uh, disabilities to buy and sell uh, anything online uh, without the inconvenience of traveling to a mall or supermarket. Um, like if someone can't walk or something, they don't, they don't need to walk, they just need to they can stay at their computer and um, order whatever it is they need to order or sell whatever it is they need to sell. They don't, they don't need to travel at all. Um, and uh, yeah, instant results and quick shipping. Um, we were talking about it a little earlier in this class um, before class started. And uh, yeah, it's just my my roommate bought NFL tickets this past week, and he got them 18 hours later in the mail. So that was incredibly quick. I did not expect that. That's how I woke up. Did he go to the game last shot, night? Shot. What's that? Was it the game last no. night? No. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, the negatives um, of digital commerce, uh, obviously scams is a big thing, like people stealing your identity by taking um, credit card information, um, social security, uh, stuff like that. Um, and then problems with the purchase product or service, um, that'd be like if you were to, <laughs> I, I know some people do this, I don't know why, why but like buy, buy a car on, on eBay and then go pick it up and get halfway home and uh, it clutters out. And uh, yeah, you really are kind of stuck. Yeah, you're stuck. You can't really can't really do anything about that because it's it's already been it's already been purchased and at that point like the titles and stuff. But yeah, that actually I mean I guess that goes with anything anything on eBay or Amazon, not just not just big things. So um, yeah, and then lack of proper business etiquette. So um, I don't know without without face to face contact um, when you're when you're doing this. A lot of it's just just lost, and it's easier to be rude to someone um, if you're not face to face. Like so, or yeah, there just isn't any any face to face contact, or sometimes there's any contact other than the actual like I'm gonna, I'm gonna bid on this, I'm gonna buy this. So yeah. Okay. Very good.